Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Castro back at you, Plugin Boutique. Today we're checking out the brand new Distortion Effect Thermal from Output. This is incredible. I know I say that quite often about plugins, but seriously, this is already on my drum bus, on my default template inside of Ableton Live. It is just so good. In this video, I'm gonna play you some of the presets on some drums, just to give you a sort of general idea of the scope of what's capable with thermal. And I mean, it's a distortion saturation plugin, but it's got reverb, it's got flangers, it's got delay, it's got lot, many other effects built inside of it, and you have a ton of control over them. And after I play you a few of these presets on these drums, we're gonna jump into the kind of behind the scenes parameters to show you how you can get started crafting your own sound with this incredible plugin. Okay, with that being said, let's go ahead and check out some of these presets on these drums. And I'm gonna be using the Start Here presets. Thermal comes with over 250 presets, and as you can see here, there are some tailored for drums, bass, vocals, guitar, and keys if you're going for the lo-fi sound. Feedback effects get really crazy. There's rhythmic stuff, extreme stuff, things for your mix bus and so on. So there is a ton to choose from, and I obviously don't have time to go through everything here, but I think starting with the starting here presets and just cycling through these on these drums will give you a really good idea of what this is capable of. Some other details just before we jump in here is that this has multi-stage distortion and effects processing. It's got mid-side and time base width, over 15 distortion types, nine built-in effects with an additional master compressor and filter, and so much more. Okay, so I'm gonna go through a bunch of presets right now. If you wanna skip, you can use the timestamps in the video description or use that new feature on the YouTube videos right inside of the video where you can skip to different parts of the video. So these are the drums that I'm gonna be using. And let's check out these presets. All right, so there you go. There's a bunch of different presets on those drums. I hope it gives you a good idea of what this is capable of. Now let's talk about what's inside. So if you're familiar with Portal, which is a multi-effect that came out from Output a while back, it's got a very similar vibe to it. It's pretty much the same on the front here. You've got an XY 
kind of position where you can have macro effects mapped to these. You can, can change them with the knobs here, or you can just jump right in there and pull this around. It looks absolutely phenomenal. I'm sure if you went through the preset stage in the video, you saw the versatility here. It just looks so good, and that's always a plus. So to jump into the background, we got to click right here. And this is where the magic happens. So we have three different bands to choose from, and we can shut them off if we don't want to use them. But what happens here is when I activate a band, I can actually come in and choose the frequency range that will be affected by whatever I choose over here. So this is the distortion area for this particular stage. They're called stages here instead of bands. Just keep that in mind. So I have all of these different distortions and saturations to choose from. And then from there, I can shape them. I can play with the drive and the output. And depending on the type of saturation you have, you may have more controls over here as well. And then each one of those stages has an effect. You can add any one of these effects to it, bit reducer, chorus, compressor, stereo delay, filter flange, or frequency shift, or phaser, or reverb. And that's on a per stage basis. So if I add reverb here and turn it on and then jump over to stage two, you'll see that stage two actually has a compressor on it. So each one of those stages can have its own dedicated effect. Each one of the stages also has a width control where you can come over here and choose the stereo width and a tone control, which is essentially a two band equalizer. Here we have two modulation controls and to map these is simply just drag, hover over the plus button and bring it to where you want it to be. You can see that now this is blue, it's color coded, great. If I hover over there, I'll get my up and down arrows where it can add the automation of value to positive or negative easily enough. Another really cool thing that I like about output is if you add the humanize here, it will change so it won't stay exactly the same. If we come in here and, I don't know, uh, we have this sort of wavy pattern. The white is the fluctuation of that. So the value won't be static. It actually moves and the white is showing you how much it's moving. You see that the ball is actually following the white and this is the blue is actually kind of the guideline for it, but with the human eyes cranked up, you can get some big variations from that actual original shape. I really, really dig that. I hope more plugins do that. I mean, you've got two different modulation envelopes to choose from. It's the same thing with uh, assigning values or parameters to this main kind of performance module here. Uh, you come in and again, you got the plus button so you can easily come in and add it and boom. Now we've got that and as I move that particular parameter or if I use the XY module here, this parameter or that parameter will actually move. That is awesome. Just that in and of itself makes an incredible plugin. So many different types of saturation. You got an effects module. You can actually control the bands. You can make them move. You can see here that the actual band position is moving, being modulated down here. And it's just really, really cool. And by the way, to do that, you just take something like this modulator and put it over here for the low. And then if I crank that up, you'll see that the low position is moving. If I make it to the negative, the white position is where the actual band is. So we're gonna get some big movement there. It's quite easy to do. And from there, we also have a quick view of the XY. So if I wanna be previewing the, like the change I made here to the ratio of the compressor and how it's gonna be affected when I'm actually using the XY control, I can do it right there. Effects, we can have two effect slots. These are after everything else. So you can kind of look at them as the final output stage before the mastering stage or the master stage and again all of those different built-in audio processing effects are right there for you to use each one has parameters that are all automatable and of course you can always bypass them too just to turn them off and then we have a master output where we have high pass and low pass filters and a compressor right here at the bottom, which we have dry wet control over as well. So thermal is a really in-depth 
multi-effect with a focus on saturation and distortion. But I mean, just putting it on those drums gives me so many ideas and drives me with inspiration to get stuff going. Uh, no pun intended there with the drive because it just sounds so good. I love it when I throw a new plugin onto anything and it already makes it sound better just flipping through the first couple of presets. Big ups to Output for putting this together because it's absolutely phenomenal just as a creative plugin or as something that can be used for, you know, adding subtle saturation to your drums or your bass or your vocals. I mean, it's perfect for that as well if you're not trying to get crazy with it. But I highly suggest you do both. Uh, get in here and tweak everything as to your heart's content because you'll get some amazing results. Anyway, that's a quick look at Thermal. It's available now on Plugin Boutique. Click the link in the video description to check it out. I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.